Hello, boys and girls. It's Fog. I'm in my Let's Play world, and because a few of you have asked for a more in-depth tutorial of how to build this sugarcane factory that I've got here, and I wanted to real quick walk you through its paces and describe exactly what we're building here before I go into a creative world and show you how to build it. Um, this is a sugarcane factory. It works in both an automated and a manual mode. It has an indicator light up top. When sugarcane grows to full height, like that, the indicator light turns on. You can see it up there. It's on. And uh, at which point, if you step on that pressure plate, it will harvest the sugar cane and bring it right to you. Uh, standing on the pressure plate causes nothing to happen if there's no sugar cane ready for harvesting. Uh, but you can also stand on the pressure plate like this. And whenever any sugar cane grows, it will automatically harvest it and reset the machine. So you can stand right on this pressure plate and go AFK and just, you know, keep waiting for sugarcane to be brought right to you, and it will auto-harvest for you. So it has basically two modes. It has a manual mode where it won't harvest until you actually step on the pressure plate, and it has an automatic mode where it will continually harvest as long as you are actually on the pressure plate. So now that you can see what it is, let's go to a creative world, and I'll show you exactly how to build it. The project begins with a configuration that looks like this. Imagine that the glass on the left is at ground level. Pick a place for your pressure plate, dig down two blocks and dig a trench ten blocks long onto which you place redstone. Then put a block with your pressure plate back on it and at this end over here build a T configuration up one block from that. Go up another block into a block with a sticky piston and a glowstone lamp just like that. Now when you step on the pressure plate, the piston should fire and the glowstone lamp should be pushed up. When you back up, it should retract. On the other side of the pressure plate, you're going to place eight blocks on top of that redstone. You can use ice, you can use any kind of block you want. Ice works really well because it lets the sugar cane move really fast when it's pushed by the water but it doesn't have to be ice. If you do choose to use ice, make sure that you don't put any light sources nearby until you get that ice covered with water, otherwise the ice might melt. On either side of your central blocks, you need to have either dirt or sand so that you can plant your sugar cane. Doesn't matter which, sugar cane will grow just as fast in dirt as it does in sand. On either side of that, you need a channel with water in it, so otherwise the sugar cane can't be planted. Now it's time to plant your sugar cane, and then at the far end of your ice, or whatever block you've used, place a water source block. Make sure you put a wall behind it so the water travels in the correct direction and doesn't mess up your redstone. On either side of your sugar cane, I like to place a wall with some glowstone in it, because that way we can provide some light to the sugar cane, even in the darkness, so that it's more likely to grow. But uh, you don't have to, and build that to taste. You don't really even need anything there at all if you don't want it. Next we add our harvesters, which consist of two rows of sticky pistons, too high. You can put any kind of block in front of those you want. It can be glass, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, behind the pistons, place a row of repeaters with some redstone behind it. And if you've done it right, then if you were to put a switch there, it would push both pistons together. And you end up with something that looks like that. Next, we need a way to tell when the sugar cane is fully grown, and we're going to do that with a couple of butt arrays, which we're going to build right up across the top. Place a row of nine blocks right here, so that it goes one past the end, and then we're going to place eight pistons on either side of this. Eight there, and eight here. Now, on either side of these, we're going to place a, a glass block, and then a regular block. And behind here, we're going to place two more regular pistons that face back towards our towards our butter rays. And behind those, we're going to place obsidian blocks, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and put redstone all down the middle here. If you want an indicator lamp, this is a great place to put it. Just put a block there with a torch and a glowstone lamp on top of that. You know, or whatever configuration you want. Just pull your indicator right off of that. Uh, when the 
when the sugar cane has fully grown, this redstone will be on. To complete our butter ray, we put a redstone torch there, a redstone torch there, and three blocks across the top with redstone there. This forms an ore latch or an ore gate. And then off here, we're going to hang a single torch, turns it into a not ore gate. Now that's normal for those uh, torches to come off. Just as soon as you're done, replace the torches. They won't come off again. Uh, placing this torch uh, causes that little glitch there. But like I said, that won't happen again, so don't worry about it. So at this point, you have a semi-functioning butt array. We need to finish wiring it up. All right, let's do the final wiring. We're going to start with a block there and a torch there and do the same thing on this side, block, torch. Then we're going to come back here. We're going to place a block right there and another set, another T configuration here. This part's a little tricky. We need a repeater set to three ticks, exactly three ticks. We need three redstone there. That puts these pistons back here in a buds, bud state so that if anything updates in between here, they'll fire. And when they fire, they reset our bud array here. So you can see how that works. If I uh, come down here, if one of these uh, sugar canes grows all the way to the top, it's going to fire this butt array right there. That butt array turns this torch on, which turns this torch off, which resets this bud state, but it also turns this one on, which places these in a bud state, which means that any update there will cause them to reset. Just like that. Now to finish this, we need to build off the back here. We're going to build another block out. We're going to build a block there, a block right there, below there and there. So you have this stair step down, down, and up. Into here we place a uh, repeater set at two ticks, and then we wire this up there. Now we need to now what we have is a situation where when this bud fires it's going to turn this on and that's going to power that block there while at the same time placing this in a bud state then when we step on that pressure plate back here it's going to push this redstone lamp up into between these two pistons causing an update um, and then uh, that's going to reset the bud array now, if by chance we're already standing on that pressure plate, then this glowstone lamp will already be up. And that means when this block gets powered by this redstone back here, it's going to change that lamp, make it turn it on instead of off. It'll turn the lamp on, and that's going to cause a block update, which is going to fire these pistons. So now we have to hook up the harvesters and the way we do that is we come off the top here we build a little stair step down like this with some redstone and hang a torch off of that we're going to do the same thing on the other side whoops not there 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 redstone redstone with a torch and then there we go and we're going to build up from here up this we're gonna put a torch here put a block here and put some redstone here so this redstone into that block into that torch into this block with a dot of redstone on top of it and then another torch right here and then we're gonna hook the output of that torch right over here to this row of harvesters. Do the same thing on the other side. Block, block, redstone, torch, block, redstone, 
torch block redstone now what we've built here is an AND gate so the harvester can only fire if we're standing on the pressure plate and our butt array has fired if our butt array hasn't fired standing on the pressure plate won't cause the harvesters to fire so if I stand here no harvesting but if one of these guys should go to the top I can harvest and that's it you're done I'll place a download to this world in the description so that you can download and play around with it and uh, figure out how it ticks. But uh, that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Tell all your friends. And I hope to talk to you again real soon.